Will we see some more Magicraft soon? I'm new here. Say hi. Okay, new person came into the Discord, asked for Magicraft. So, last played, May 4th. That's enough for me. Let's play some more Magicraft. I don't know. There were two different playthroughs I was doing. There was one where I was trying to win using only a single spell, and that was pretty fun. But then the more recent one was trying to play without any meta upgrades, and I was also enjoying that one. I don't know if they've added new stuff to this game. Oh, I get to play it with a controller. Wait, that is true, right? No, you don't get to play this one with a controller because I do have to aim. Okay, never mind. Start the game. So yeah, these are the two different playthroughs. So this one, I think, is my playthrough where we're doing it with zero meta progression. We do not want to talk to any of these people. Carry on. New area. Nightmare. Okay, that's what we're doing. I don't even know if I've won a nightmare yet. Haven't played in a while. Can't talk to you. So yeah, it's been a little while. How are you all doing? We'll see if people still watch Magicraft. It was like probably my most popular series. So playing this with no, well, other than Noida, but this one's similar to Noida. Playing this with no meta progression means I only ever get a single wand. It also means, what else? Gold rooms are not worth much. I think I just want relics a lot. I always want relics a lot. Still true. I think it's more true now. So yeah, I've played a bunch of this game. The first act is pretty easy. The second act... Oh yeah, you can only get one potion. Second act isn't too bad. Third act is when it starts to become tough and you have to have a solution by then. Chance to dodge attacks, Guardian Sprite is pretty decent. Movement speed is okay, but not great. Take Guardian Sprite. Can I get... Yeah, I can get that coin. Cool. The coins are not worth much to me just because I don't think I can get enough of them for them to be meaningful. Take the max HP, but again, I don't get as much max HP as I would. Gaining any amount of max mana or mana regen is pretty huge. These long leg ones, I'm not super used to them. They were out when I played, but I feel like they've changed a little since then. And they had just recently come out. I'm curious how much they've added to the game. I should have looked at the patch notes. But I got the Discord comment. I kind of just wanted to play. So that's what we're doing. I'm easy to influence. Especially if you just ask me in like a non-aggressive way. Like sometimes people are very demanding. Like play more cube chaos. And that can work. But it's just whatever gets me in the mood to want to play more of the video game. And sometimes that would be just saying play more cube chaos. Sometimes it's just, I think it's the idea that somebody's willing to like make the effort to join the discord and ask the question in a strange discord. Cause to me, it's kind of a big deal to enter a discord. I don't know why it is, but discord's a lot for me. I'm getting used to it more. But yeah, that has like, that would be more powerful in my mind than somebody just commenting on a YouTube video, even though the comments on the YouTube videos have gotten me to play games a bunch of times too. I don't know, just thinking through my thoughts. I like to process why I react the way that I do to different things. A lot of times I don't fully know yet. More relics, less gold. This is actually difficult to play, too. With no meta upgrades, by the time I get to Act 3, I am struggling, usually. So, like, the normal game, I can kind of do whatever I want. I wouldn't have to take relics, I could go get gold, I could do whatever. And you can win, kind of. 
not really the case right now. These spiders feel way quicker than the short ones. Heels? Do I care about heels? I don't care about any of these three. This is where I wish I had rerolls. Okay. Heels are okay. Then I don't have to worry too much about taking damage. At least early on. Later I will. Oh, and it lets me open the chest that'll hurt me. There are puzzle rooms, right? I'm just now remembering this game. The puzzles in this game kick my butt. I've gotten okay at a couple of them, but there are some of them that I have not gotten any better. Tracking. Tracking is interesting. Poison could be good. Tracking is not the best with this spell, but it's really good with some of them. This boss is not that bad. Not that bad. Mirrors my movements. I'm gonna hide behind that bush for a second. Just keep shooting. Just keep shooting. Darn. I said it's not that bad, and then I take a hit for no reason. I kind of thought that I still had one of the sprites up to eat the hit when it got close, but I had already used it. My bad. Okay, so I only get the one wand. The one wand. This one casts very slowly. One spell every second. So I think I have to take old wand, which is just like decent. 0.14. Ah, that cooldown of 0.5. Six slots. I guess it's similar to this one. Less mana regen. Okay. Less mana regen. Decent. It does start to drain my mana, but it's decent. It'll do damage. For early on. Starting to get the pieces to build something. Okay, I'm out of mana. Just ran into a red dot for no reason. That's okay, we heal that back. As long as I don't eat more red dots. Cool. Thought I saw a coin. Did not. Okay. Do I go to the anvil? With the anvil, I could upgrade these. I'm leaning towards max HP. I don't know. Like, if I upgrade these and I re-roll them, then I'm just dependent on whatever I get. It's a little bit scary. I'm gonna try and get some more spells first before I go to the anvil. Right, my mana runs out, so I can't just spam it forever. Okay, that king one is a pain because it spawns more, that spawn more, that spawn more! Can I get the king to fall in the hole? Probably not. Okay, the king is kicking my butt. I'm out of mana. Okay, I have to take out that king. Let's do that. It's also pretty tanky. Okay, king is gone. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. I need to look at this overload scatter spell. Overload scatter. Over scatter. Minus cooldown. Simultaneous firing. So if I took it off, then I don't run out of mana. Well, I do, but it takes a lot longer. I think I'm going to take it off. Keep getting relics. Let's do it. These are going to heal each other when they die, so I should just focus on one at a time. What's going to spawn next? We will find out. Oh, these things are annoying. It's not the upgraded ones, at least. 
You're gonna heal. Poison's good against these. They're not that bad. What is that thing? I've seen it before, but I don't remember what it does. Who knows? It wasn't bad, whatever it was. What relic? MP regen is really, really, really good. I would like that one. Put this back. I still don't have new spells. I think I have to go to the spell book. Let's go do this. Now. Still can't spam forever. Even with the two additional MP regen. But I can shoot more quickly. Don't step in the poison puddles and get hit by projectiles. The flame is my friend. The flame is taking out spiders. So yeah, I don't know if this is just a one-off for me, or if I'm going to start playing Magicraft again regularly. There are a bunch of games that I'm kind of tempted to start playing again. It's so slow. I have to wait for mana so much. How much do you cost? 30. The lightning is questionable. More spells. It's questionable, but it's good. I need more mana. Hey, I really need more mana. It's good for area of effect. How many keys do I have? I have three keys. How did I get so many keys? Okay, open the book. Ooh, a fuse and cost reduction or speed? Both. Or no, it lowers the damage and the duration and makes it cast for less mana? Is that what it does? Yes. Duration and damage. The duration part hurts. Okay. Fuse is good. Fuse is really good. Okay, it's not the best for breaking barrels, though. Break barrels. So we're gonna go check this out. Put this back, put this back. I could do, I can't really do fuse plus overload. Kind of could. I remember this one. I don't remember this one. It is, what was it? These two, one of these two is an A. This is a C. I've been told what this is. This is an R. Is it C-A-R-D? C? Nope. Why would it be card? Okay. My projectile thing, my sprite ate one of those. Okay. So it's this, this, this this, but I don't remember what that was. It ends with an R. It starts with a C. C-D-A-R? I don't know. People told me a way to remember it, and I don't remember what it is. Disruption Ray doesn't do much for me, but I could re-roll it. Shops don't do much with 35 coins, and it's an Act 1 shop, which is not the best. Don't hit the poison. Oh, you're annoying. Take that out. Darn it. Okay, I heal five at the end of the room. Oh, wait, I'm missing HP. Not good. Okay, more damage would be nice. Switch this out. Orbit. 
Okay, we're getting some really good pieces. Unless they've nerfed Orbit. Orbit is one of my favorite upgrades. Spell duration plus three, they have not nerfed it. Okay, things that I would like. This and this. You have to switch this with Orbit. Cool. Good stuff. Anything else that I could be doing? I do need to go to an anvil now. But I did get a lot stronger. Look at how long these lightning fields last now. That red spider is super scary, but I have range. Still super scary, and I don't have much mana. Okay. I didn't really want to spawn more yet. Did I kill that other red? I did. Using poison and range. Cool. We have another room off to the side. Could be good. It's before a boss fight. Do I want a devil deal? It's risky, but yeah, probably. They can be really good, but they can also be pretty bad. And they cause me to make very questionable decisions. Also, no, I have to win the fight without taking damage. Scatter is not bad. Enemy movement speed boosted is rough. Periodically te teleport you back is annoying. Projectile speed is bad. Inventory slots minus one is rough, but right now it doesn't do much to me. Five curses is a good number to have. There's a potion that can remove five. He was okay. Endless elixir. Each potion use has a 30% chance to obtain a new potion. Randomly removes one curse. Oh, I should have taken the bad curse. I didn't realize this was the potion I had. Reduces projectile speed. I'm just going to take them all. I like collecting curses. Do I remove one before a boss fight? I guess. Which one did I hit? Teleport, movement speed, not the one that I want. These two are the ones that I want to remove. I could do tentacles. Tentacles would be tough. No, they wouldn't. Then I could just focus on dodging. I think we're good. Unless it's the poison egg thing. Is it the poison? No. Yeah, it is. Poisonous spider's egg. Wonderful. Wonderful. Out of mana. The lightning does a good job of taking out its projectile, at least. It's just annoying because I don't do much damage to it. But I don't know if I would have switched a tentacle for this one either, so who knows. Okay. Just keep fighting it. Keep dodging the poison pools. I could stop casting. Oh no, I'm going to teleport back into a poison pool. Was this an elite fight or is this the boss? I think this was the boss. Crap. So there goes me getting the devil deal. Okay. All because I took the curse that teleports me back in time. That's fair. Very slowly, ticking down its health. We got it! Poison would have been good against any boss other than that one. And we go back in time. Spells have a 5% chance of immediately replenishing MP upon casting. 20% chance to end its own cooldown. Faster cooldown. Faster cast interval. One less slot. Mana regen of 20. I think I have to take this. Crap. Crap. That's rough. Spell cooldown, too. 
That's a lot of mana regen. Remove the poison. I don't know if I still get the fuse. Oh, I get the fuse instead of energy saving. We'll see. See what this looks like. Wait, why am I casting so slow? Oh, mana cost is 150%. Wait. That's pretty crappy. This feels way worse. Well, I mean, I got a forced cooldown. What does it look like if I take that off? Oh. What if I get rid of the cooldown, take this one back, put it onto here, Still too expensive. 26.7. Way too expensive. Like, I could do this, I think. Yeah. But that's not really good enough. What else could I do? This won't work. Too expensive. None of these. I think I have to switch back wands. It's painful. What do I just do? Drag that onto here. We need fuse. I would like this cooldown. More than I would like poison? No. Oh, but cooldown's probably better than this. Ah, mana cost. Never mind. Mana cost is important. Okay. That sucks. This one could be good. Next chapter. Chapter 2. Oh, also, I'm probably splitting this run into two videos. The one downside to that, if I die right on entering area 3, I don't know how to handle that. I have to think about it. Just break these. It takes forever. One drop. No drops. Okay. Onwards to the next chapter. Where I still don't have enough mana. Don't hit me. The big ones are scary. They're pretty tanky. I don't see a big one, though. Okay, cool. I can live with that. I still have four keys. Oh, there's a big one. So these are pretty tanky. And I'm gonna go back in time. But at least I'm going back when it's pretty harmless. They're gonna take forever to kill. Poison's helping. I'm doing poison. Don't let it drop off. Cool. Do not run into these red orbs. I do that too often. Spells can penetrate walls. Is weird with fuse. All of these kind of suck. Cloud Piercer can be bad, but it can be good too. I'm going to take it. What do we got? With a fuse, I still don't have a way to teleport. So one of my problems with this game, unless they've fixed it, is once I hit this button, it does not fade back to being this dark. Does it fade back to being that dark? No. Like, I can see right now. It's hard to see, but you can see. That's lame. Okay. It would help if I was better at the video game. 
Okay. Why is timing so hard? I could have just run along the top. I... I'm going to take even more damage. Luckily, we have HP and I heal, but I'm terrible at this. I still wish it was dark, though. It feels stupid to have, like, the darkness element of it, but they just removed it completely. I'm gonna get hit. Get out of there. I guess, what am I doing? I used to at least not be this bad at it. Now I'm worse. Where's that flame? That flame is right there, cool. Don't hit those. This was so worth it. I would happily give up 40 HP for two more mana regen. So good, and a lightning dash plus, which would have solved this, but it's also just strong. Like, surprisingly strong. Lightning Dash Plus does big damage. It can do a lot of knockback to certain enemies, which gets annoying later in the game. Do I remove poison? Don't think so. Keep getting relics. Oh no, ghosts are annoying. Ghosts are one where I would actually not like to have this knockback. Crap. Don't spawn more ghosts. They spawn the bigger ghosts. Okay, ghosts are annoying. Get out of here. Don't like ghosts. The lightning field does way better with the ghosts. Okay, upon killing an enemy, there's an 8% chance to drop coins. It's pretty good. Summoned unit limit times two is only good if I'm planning on going summons, which is hard to do with a single wand. Guardian Sprite is pretty good. I'm just going to go Guardian Sprite. Agility Potion is pretty good. Permanently increases movement speed. I'm just going to drink that now. And we get a Midas Potion. Transform all non-boss enemies in the room into coins. I feel like I don't use that one often enough. I should use it. We have four curses. More spells. More max HP. Spells are full. I guess I go get max HP. Try to find an anvil. Like, spells would still be good, but they're better when you have room for them. If I got rid of the curse with the inventory space, did I already get rid of that one? I might have. Okay. So yeah, normally you have a good amount more inventory space and you have more wands that can act as storage. Ran out of mana. Ghosts are so annoying. Just kill it. Stupid knockback. Yes, it is an anvil. We've done it. Now, I have 76 gold, which is a good amount of gold. We can do this. Totally. So what are we looking for? Upgrade this spell. That spell's actually decent, too. Damage received by units hit, plus 50% within 4 seconds. That little detail is pretty huge. I can't use it, but it's huge. Volley Plus is so good. I need more wand space, but it's so, so good. It reduces the cost of all of the spells. But it reduces them more if you cast more spells, and I can't currently do that. So right now, 15.1. If I switch out with a cheap spell, which I just got rid of. This one's too expensive. But if I did that, no, 16.4. Why is that so expensive? Really? I expected this to be cheaper. Oh no, because I took off one that reduces mana cost by even more than Volley does. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. 
so Fuse definitely has to be on there. Okay, leave it as it was. DPS is getting up there. What would I reroll? I'm not even close to getting three of a kind. I'm trying to think which of these I replace, and I think the answer is energy saving mode. Probably not doing summons. I do have one rare. One rare is not that good. And they cost more to reroll. Why does the game make me make decisions? That one is so good. I don't know if it's as good as Lightning Dash Plus. So if I was going to use this one, I would switch out this. It is not as good as Lightning Dash Plus. It's close, though. It's doing damage to all three of them. And it doesn't do the crazy knockback, but it gets the damage out there much slower. I would not re-roll this one, though. As long as I have other things better to re-roll. Crits are good, but I can't really do it. Crap. I don't even really want to upgrade this one, but three of a kind. No, I didn't mean to roll it. I was just resting my finger on the button. Rebound can be good, but not with penetration. That's a reason that penetration is bad. Rainbow is kind of fun, but not for this. Laser is actually amazing. Oh no. Laser is amazing. I don't have the slots for it. Laser lowers the price of this one with volley, and it gives some cooldown reduction. So now we're over 1,200 damage. So right now, 16.4. If I take that off, 25.2. that really how much difference it makes? Yes. 16.4.8. That is how much difference it makes. I can't believe I re-rolled the one that I had a pair of. I do believe it, but also I don't. That was so stupid. Second, the problem is laser is not one that I want to upgrade, but having two of them would be good. I wonder if I remove... The fuse also lowers the price, though. So the fuse is better than lasers, except these give more cooldown. Oh, no, I can't. You need the fuse. Right. I knew that. I just need a wand with more slots. Crap. Crap! Crap! That lightning is actually good, and I just got rid of it. Spider Friend could have been good. Okay. I did not make much space for myself. I only have room for two more spells. Oh, inventory slot, minus one. It would be good to get rid of that. No, not this stupid bomb. I should not have woke the snakes. Okay, we're good. I see crits popping up, too. Lightning Dash is good at getting crits. Crit chance, 70%. Randomly removes a curse. It was not inventory space. Okay. Still have three keys. Still have three keys. Okay, curse chest. Go check that after the fight. This, it just makes enemies zoom so fast whenever you hit certain enemies. That's the biggest problem with Lightning Dash. Orbit. 
That's three orbits. Holy crap, we have to go back to here. Orbit is one of my favorite things. Lose one coin upon entering each door. Negative. I will not take that one. I'll take a lot of curses. I will not take minus one money per door. You. Give me the Orbit Plus. Orbit Plus. Spell duration. What? Lame. It used to be plus six plus six, I think. I mean, it's still good. Duration plus four, so it only went up by one second. And flight speed plus five. The flight speed plus five is useful, but... Not as much as it used to be. It was too good before, but that still sucks. Okay, we need... Ghost fire's okay, but I can't really use it. Crap. Get rid of this one. Split is really good. Can't fit it. It's really good. We're trying to find three of a kind, preferably not the laser. Orbit is really good. Sometimes I don't like this game. Three of a kind, not the laser. Three of a kind, not the laser. This one doesn't really need an upgrade either. It's okay to upgrade it. Okay. Damage up is pretty good. I have three of these. They're not very good. But, three of a kind. So mana cost, 50%. 50%? Pretty cheap. For an elite. I think I do enough damage to kill it fairly quick. Double fuse. Okay. And it's the one that just mirrors my movements, so that's pretty easy. Pretty easy. What do we get? An upgraded spell. It wasn't very good, but it's upgraded. So now I've got two upgraded spells and a frost rune that I don't care about. Resonance rune doesn't do anything. We need another anvil. That bomb's good to blow up. Do not get hit by butterflies. Easy fight. Another room for me to take damage in. Oh, I can't get to these chests. I get to that one. Randomly upgrades. One relic. How many keys? Three keys. Should I go upgrade? Just trying to get Merlin's robe. Probably. Let's do that. Maybe we just hit Merlin's robe. It's so good. Transform all non-mod... On all non-boss enemies. Des deduct? I can't read today. I can't think today. YouTube is hard. Deducts 40% of current HP to gain a corresponding amount of shield. That one's pretty cool, especially if it was right before a boss fight, but we just fought an elite. All damage. Seed of Greed for max HP. This one is lame. All damage. Open. Do not go to the shop. With 36 gold, I need to keep re-rolling. No. I mean, it's fine, but it's lame. See, that's why I took the upgrade to the robe before picking up the new thing. Can I get over there? I technically can. Do I want to give up the key for that or for this? Let's do this. Oh no, shiny top. These are cursed relics. This one just snaps and kills enemies, but it does it so irregularly. Upon entering a room, all wands have their current MP set to zero. Pretty rough. This one. Increase all damage dealt by 100%. Increase all damage taken by 70%. What is the curse? Slow moving snail, Gary! I do want the snail. But I can't take this. That's a rough relic. 
Increased damage taken by 70% is death. Now I wish I didn't spend the key. Okay, so this one. Drink it, pick this up. We got another. Drink it, pick up the heart. Go get more spells. We have space for two. Find an anvil. No, these are the bad ones. These are the bad ones. You just have to fight them though. I don't have to fight them when they're in their shell, but whatever. They are the bad ones. Don't do this to me. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. I delete enemies as long as they're not ones that counter me. Okay, now we're out of inventory space. Out of inventory space. Penetration does nothing. We have unlimited... Or no, that's just walls. This causes them to penetrate enemies. Still does nothing with lightning dash. And it's bad with fuse. Okay with laser. Hit the bomb. Not the stupid ghosts. Forget the butterflies, get the ghost. Okay, fine. Erase the butterflies. And get the ghosts. I hate the ghosts. Kind of cool being able to see their HP bar. I take back the negativity towards that relic. Okay. Break the boxes. Shop with 51 coins. Nope. Not. Not ghosts. They're so bad. There is curse removal. Almost definitely doing that, but it will eat my shield, which hurts. I think I'm still doing it. I don't have Gary, so it's not like it's going to remove a curse that I want to keep. This is good. More movement speed. Max HP. Bam. There goes some shields. But I got my backpack up. What else do I have? Enemy movement speed. Um, these two aren't that bad. Agility. Crap. Um, are there any of these that I want to keep? I think I want to keep Fuse. What else? Is that it? The Ghost Snakes could be good. I'm probably going to get junk, but you never know. And having two Ghost Snakes. Never know. Let's see what I get. Orbit Plus. We now have two Orbit Pluses. I got a third Fuse. There's a black hole there. Crap. Black Hole is another of the very strong spells. It might be stronger than Lightning Dash. It does less damage. It does less, like, immediate damage. But it does the opposite of knocking back enemies. It pulls them in. So it's more defensive. Where Lightning Dash is just super offensive. How much damage do you do? 27 DPS. This feels decent. Could get another spell. Or I could get money. Let's go get this spell. Lightning Dash is so fast too, though. This one, I just ate that damage. Okay, get out of that corner. The Lightning Dash felt way quicker. Maybe I should switch it until the next act. Wait, I don't want to be trapped here. Get me out of that corner. It's so much slower. Okay. My shields are getting eaten away at. Crap. It's two spells. Did I know it was going to give two spells? Spell knockback. I don't really want increased knockback. Acceleration. Do I get rid of the rare? Where's the rare? Power Traction is actually a really good rare, but I'm never going to be able to fit it. These both suck.
thought I had... I guess this one's a rare. Oh, I re-rolled the rare into strong traction. That's what happened. Got it. Probably not the spell book. Let's go get max HP. Ooh, remove curses. I'm almost out of shields. I could just remove both curses. I was thinking about switching back to the dash, but this is... Look at how much better it is with the ghosts. The ghosts are just trapped with the black holes. Is it doing any damage to them? No, I have to get near them. Still good, though. Takes care of the eyeballs? No problem. I need more anvils. Um... Press it twice, do it. Go press it a third time, no curses. Midas Potion. I don't like the ghosts. Ah, but I have Black Hole. I was gonna say I might just use Midas on these. I still could. If I was using Lightning, then I would have used Midas. This is basically why I'm switching to the black hole. Four rooms like this. Dodge. For every two missing HP, increased damage dealt. I'm gonna go with that one. Could have done movement speed, but I already have a pretty good amount with those two potions. Relic? Let's go get a relic. Black holes are also good against butterflies. Oh, are they good against these chain balls? I just got hit. That was stupid. Should not have taken that hit. Keys. There is a key. Oh, crap. They are good against these. Weird. I thought they got reflected. Upon killing an enemy, 20% chance to restore 1 HP. I think we're just going to take 9 sprites. 9 of them. Boss fight. No shields. Am I good for this fight? I am. Should I switch to lightning? Probably. Lightning does more damage. Does it? I think it does. I need training dummies to test it, but I'm pretty sure it does. Okay. Oh, I do have 10 shields. The cage. So the first phase is really easy. In between phases, I would like to get some of my mana back. Second phase, it kind of just depends what it does. Got some of the mana back. Gotta start casting now. I feel like you can manipulate what it does, but I'm not sure how to. I just ran completely the wrong direction. That was the easiest fight to not take damage, and I just took damage. Did I, or did it go to the shields? Took damage. That was such an easy fight. Oh no, this one is so, so good. This is like the best one there is. This one's actually really good. But this is only good if you have more than one wand slot. If you have four wand slots, this one is broken. If you don't, this one is pretty good, except for that cooldown, but... We'll work with it. So the cooldown's pretty bad. The good news is we have lots of spells. We have lots of spells. And I have orbit. I think I'm switching back to black hole. Second orbit. With this here. What else? Strong traction. Strong traction. 
getting down that cooldown would be really good. How much does this cost? It should be pretty cheap. Your cost is 2.8. Okay. So that means that I can do both. Doing both is pretty good. I could. So this reduces the cooldown, which is nice. One option would be, I could get rid of one of these. Oh, but I like how zoomy it is. I could put tentacle on here. Cast slow though. Could put strong traction. I th think this is pretty good. All right, I'm going to cut this video here. Tomorrow, we will continue on into chapter three. For now, that's gonna do it for this episode. Thanks for watching.